So guys, welcome back. Now you may be wondering, why I'm back on YouTube now. I thought you guys haven't seen enough of me, so I thought, you know what, I'd create a list of things that people hate. Now this is going to be 20 reasons, not 20 reasons, it's going to be 20 things that people hate. Now, I haven't done a rant video like this before, notice my accent there, bit weird. But I thought, you know what, something different this week, we'll do a rant video, so here you have. Enjoy. Number one on the list, people that play their music too loud. Now when you're on the train, the bus, plane, whatever, and you're sat next to someone and they've got their headphones in. Now I swear the whole purpose of headphones is you can't hear the music. Now the reason why this annoys me is because you can, like, you can hear it, but you can't hear it great, but you can't hear it badly. It's just that annoying pitch. Now I don't know about you guys, but I'd much prefer them just to whack out a Bluetooth speaker and play it so that we can all hear it completely perfectly, rather than have to hear some really badly EQ'd one that's been around their eardrums a few times. Next one on my list of things that people hate is when you're paying by card. Now I'm not sure whether you notice this, but when you go to an ATM or when you're in a restaurant and you go to type in your pin, everyone, no matter where they are, if they can see you're typing the pin in, they just go and literally break their neck so they don't see you typing the pin in. Like, I'm guilty of doing this if I'm in a restaurant or when I'm at work and I give someone the card machine, I just boom, break my neck in the process, but you know what, I didn't see their pin, so don't worry, I'm not stealing your money. Now number three on this list is when you're at a crossy road junction, you know the one zebra crossing, that sort of thing. You come to it and you press the button, everybody does it. No matter even if I've watched someone go and press it, I just gotta press it just to make sure because you know what, I don't wanna be waiting any longer than I have to to cross the road. The next thing that really annoys me is when people start streaming outside my window when I'm trying to record. Shh. My next one, which is number four, is when people complain just to complain. Now whether this is in a shop, a queue, or just in the car, or in public, anywhere, they just complain. Like, my dad is a complete sucker for this. We'll be driving along and if someone's going one mile an hour below the speed limit, oh my god, the world's on fire! Ah, we can't drive like this! Ah! Come on! They're going one mile an hour lower than the speed limit, so I'm gonna have a heart attack because they're not going fast enough. Like, please explain the logic in that, because there isn't none. Now the next one, now this one really gets me. This is number five on the list, and this is when I get asked to do stuff that idiots can do. Now, when Apple designed iTunes, they designed it so that anybody could use it. However, my family seemed to take it that Matthew knows how to use it, so I'm just gonna be ignorant and get him to do it. No wonder I go crazy when she asks me to help her, cause it's just simple. Side note, I'm gonna lose my voice by the end of this video and I can tell it. Now for number six, this is one that I know quite a few people are quite guilty of. I don't know why, but when it comes to it, everybody just can't do it. Eating bananas, like, right. Let's just clarify this. When you eat a banana, why does nobody eat the little bit at the bottom? But ever since I've been a little ca child, cold, cold, love it. Ever since I've been a little child, I just haven't been able to finish stuff. I would always leave milk in my cereal. I'd always leave something. I just couldn't finish that last bit, whether it's because my brain thinks there's poison in the bottom of it. I don't know. Now the next one, this is number seven. Now a lot of people get this one. And um, I still don't know the correct answer really, but this should hopefully help you. Now the big company that some of you might have heard of Nike. If you don't know what Nike is, got no hope really, have you? Most people can't seem to say the name right. You could be walking along and people say, Nike, Nike, oh Nike! Since when do you say bike, bikey? Hmm? Spelled exactly the same, just a slightly different first letter, one B and one's N. So if you're gonna call it bike, you call it Nike. You're gonna call it bikey, then go ahead and call it Nike. Thing is, most of you are gonna call it bike, aren't you? So please, just stop calling it Nike, because it's really not make sense. Number eight on this list is the self-professed Instagram mod. Now you'll be scrolling through Instagram on your morning kind of scroll. I don't really know many people that have a morning scroll, but there we go. So you'll be scrolling through Instagram one time and you'll just come across this person. You just look at them and you just know that they're gonna be this person. You click on their profile and there we have it. in the bio, Instagram model or model or models for this, models for that. Or they just think they're a model. I mean, I'm all for people getting Instagram famous. Admitted it, I want to be there. But when you call yourself a model and you're taking photos with an iPhone 4 in a dirty mirror, in your Calvin Klein's, please chill out, you're not a model. Number nine, now this is the dab. What is that? Why is that a dance move? You just see people everywhere just going, like, why? Why is that a dance move? Why? Number 10, now this really happens on a regular basis. Um, whenever you go out for a meal, if any of you do ever go out for a meal, that is, um, you'll always get that waiter that always is overly eager, like they always run up to the table, take your order, come back in 30 seconds with all your drink. Really nice of them to be so caring about you. They deliver your food to you, they put it on the table, they walk off. You see them go into the kitchen, you literally, they get through the door, the door shuts, they come back through, and they come back and ask you how your dinner is. Now I've just started to ch chop into my chicken at this point, not even 
done anything. Just started chopping. And they're back and they're saying, how was your meal for you today? I don't know, I just watched you go through the door and come back. Let me have some time to try it and you may find out. Now, 11, this leads right on from the waiters. Now, it's, this happens when you're at a restaurant, Amy, um, and you're always on that table. There's always a really annoying family behind you with the three screaming kids that they can't control. Maybe a dog, depending on where you are. And they're just really rude. They all sit there on their phones and yeah, the kids scream there. Place with that. Now, usually this is the family that just waits till the end. And when the waiter comes and asks them in the middle of the meal and they go, yeah, we're having a lovely meal, it's lovely. And it gets to the end of the meal and they just want to get a free meal out of it, let's be honest. So when the waiter says, did you enjoy your meal today, guys? Dad would normally go, no, 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 it was terrible. My chips were barely warm. So why didn't you tell the waiter that when they asked you midway through your meal? Now at this point, the waiter sat there going, oh my God, I want to kill him. However, obviously they got being slightly polite than that. So they go, right, I'll bear with me one second. I'll just go and speak to my manager. So off they pop and then they come back. Surprise, surprise, the family gets free drinks. They get a free meal. They get free puddings. Whatever it is, just because they waited till after they finished their meal to complain. Like honestly, if you're gonna complain about your meal, don't eat it, because if it's bad enough for you to complain about it, then it's bad enough for you to not to eat it, okay? Number 12, now this is a big trend at the minute. It's the girls that wear camouflage. One, why is this a fashion statement? And two, who even thought it was a good idea to put camouflage on casual clothing? Like I don't want to be walking through my local town and just randomly, out of nowhere, bump into someone and just go flying across the street because I haven't seen them because they're in camouflage. Now yeah, I do know that that joke's old, but really, why do you wear camouflage? The army isn't patrolling through Truro. The only army that's going through there is the 90 year old woman with their Zimmer frames that can barely make it across the cobbles. Let alone, their eyesight's probably not great, so being in camouflage and hiding yourself from them really doesn't help. This one's quite big for me um, recently on Twitter mainly. This is point four. These are the people that create drama for no reason. Now there's one friend of mine, like I have their notifications on and literally every other tweet is them creating drama. And then when they've created it, they then get really defensive and start crying about it. And go, oh no, everyone's picking on me. No, they're not, mate. Dimmer down. Stop giving everyone else hate, and funny enough, they'll stop hating on you. I mean, honestly, what is the point in Twitter drama? It's just annoying for everybody involved. Now, 15 is Snapchat, making me think that my friends are in Barbados, Marbella, and Australia all at the same time. Now, one minute, I'll be watching someone's Snapchat, maybe Chris Baxter, up in London by a river, and the next minute, I'll be seeing Kelsey from Scotland's socks, the brand new ones that she's just bought from Asda for £1.50. When I'm out and about, I just go through data like it's running out of fashion, watching everyone's Snapchat street thinking, oh my God, Will's having such an awesome day. Look, he's just got a plane from New York and back and is having breakfast in Sydney. Point 16 is YouTubers that release their music with no musical talent whatsoever. Now there's one person in particular on my mind. Now I might get a bit of hate for saying this, but his name is Jacob Satoria. What is he doing? Now let's just take a look at this video right here. What would I do without your smiling mouth? Drawing me in and you kicking me out. You got my... It's just another way for them to make money from their 13 year old followers. That is just so annoying because they can't see they've got no talent. But they are just exploiting a fan base that they really don't care about. Which is also seen on Jacob Satori. He couldn't remember three people's names. Why do people still follow him? Point 18 is Calvin Klein. This leads on and kind of follows the Instagram model one. Now, as lots of you will know, Calvin Klein make underwear. But you get these 14 year old girls that think they're 27 and decide to start taking photos of it in their bed because you know what? Why not? Like they just lie there like this, like, oh, got my new Calvin Klein. Brand new Calvin Klein's. Oh, look at my new water bottle. Like obviously showing it off, but we don't want to see it. You're 14. Like they take any excuse just to post a photo in their matching Calvin Klein. Well done you, you've spent 80 quid on some underwear. And it's like, what are you doing with your life? Just wear clothes, that's what they're made for. Underwear is made to go underneath your clothes. Hence why it's called under. Where? Genius. Point number 19. Now this is the people that are Facebook famous. Or the people that think they're Facebook famous. Now these people just go around tagging random people in their Facebook profile pictures. Now a couple of people that I know do this. Um, I don't know them personally, I'm just friends with them on Facebook. And literally these people just go around and tag like 30 people on their Facebook profile picture. So they all like it. And all of their mates then see that they got tagged in it, so they got a high chance of liking it, so they can just break 100 likes on their new profile picture. Just go out and do something productive. Not take a new Facebook profile picture with your hands down your pants, saying, mind my hands, 
like for like return like share fan whatever you want to call it i mean honestly do you have nothing better to do with your life 20 now this leads right on with this retweet if you agree oh my god i'm so tired retweet if you agree oh my god i hate you sissies retweet if you agree oh my gosh kim jong-un's gonna blow up the world Retweet to save the world. I don't care what it is. You're cringy. All you're gonna do is you're gonna tweet it from one account, log into your second account, retweet it because you agree with it. Don't do it. It's just cringy as hell. I used to do it. Glad I've stopped because it's just pointless. Admittedly, every now and again, I'll say 25 likes and I'll do this. That actually has a goal at the end of it rather than just you trying to make yourself look slightly famous. And the issue is you've got like 10 followers. So you're trying to look famous on Twitter but you're gonna get three retweets, no more, no less, and about three favourites. And to finish off, this is point number 21. So I tweet out asking you guys to send in what annoys you. Two people responded. One was Megan, she said, me. Dan then followed, very shortly afterwards, saying me. So there we go, that's my YouTube career over. Cheers guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, it's been slightly different, hopefully you have enjoyed it. Um, I've been pretty much talking 28 minutes, non-stop. So before you leave, please leave a like or a dislike, preferably a like, but however, dislikes do help me grow as a YouTuber because they're a user engagement. So if you did happen to hate this video, just leave a dislike. Helps me out more than you actually not pressing any button. If there's anything else you do hate or you'd like to add to it, or let me know what other videos you want to see, comment down below. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Anyway guys, that's it from me this week. Um, sorry it's slightly late. I've just been kind of exams and all of that stuff. I slept till one o'clock on Monday. So I don't really have much time to upload a video. Adios.